What's up guys, Buster C4 here. Welcome to another fishing video. Today I'm going to be doing the MTB Slam for October. Now this is a little bit different. Too. This time I'm doing the MTB Pro box. It's a pretty cool box guys. You get, it's, you know, you, you pay like 25 bucks. You get like quality baits guys. So I have opened it up before. I'm doing the slam today, which basically means I have to catch a fish on every lure in this box. So, let's get into it. Alright guys, so, um, basically, I've got to pull out this little card here so you can see. But I've got, I've got a few lures here, mostly hard baits. First bait is the Live Target Lures Bait Ball Blast Minnow Jerk Bait. I think this is either going to be my worst enemy or my best friend. It's a pretty cool looking jerk bait there. It's probably like an emerald, emerald, emerald shiner color, guys. You can see that's yeah, the back. This retails for $16. $15.99. That's a lot of money for a, a jerk bait. I wanted to get a, a bait ball, um, a live target bait ball, really anything, square bill, jerk bait, crank bait, whatever, but just haven't had the money for it. Um, you know, for the same amount of money I could buy, you know, three packs of soft plastics or, you know, two, two or three Rapalas, so there's that. Next we have the Castaic BD Popper, stands for Void Ducket. Um, this is a really nice popper, guys. You can see it has this kind of bright finish. Again, this is probably going to be either my best friend or my worst enemy. I don't think I'm going to be able to catch much on it. Um, the, the lake that I'm going to is my, my friend's grandparents' lake. They're having a party. I'm invited, so I'm going to do the slam there. Um, I'm going to have my free time, so. Popper. Pretty cool, guys. I'm going to wait till evening. Till pro I'm probably going to stay till 6 or 7. Uh, it's October, so it's going to be dark by then. It's really cold. Probably should have worn a sweatshirt, but whatever. So, there's that. Really cool copper. Next, we have the Cyclone series. Cyclone Classic Platinum Spinnerbait. Have opened this up, tied it onto my bait caster, put a stinger hook on it. Um, this is in kind of a chartreuse shad. Quarter ounce spinner bait. It's really nice, guys. Oh, I got a Gamagatsu red stinger hook on there. Nice, really nice skirt. Uh, tandem willow leaf. Um, blades, one smaller, one gold, bigger, one silver. Really nice spinner bait, guys. Next, I got a jig. Again, I've opened this up and put a trailer on it. This is a pacemaker flatline football jig by VM Bates. Also, I forgot to tell you guys the popper retails for $6.99. The cyclone um, spinner bait retails for $6.79. And this jig retails for $5.79. So you pretty much got your money back. It's a really cool jig, guys. I really like the color on it. You can see the head there. This actually has a similar design to uh, a jig that I really like called the uh, Greenfish Tackle Crawball football head jig. The, um, the head is ribbed to look like the tail of a crawfish. That's really cool. Um, skirt's pretty nice. Kind of a, a purple, green, black color. I put a fish hog split tail chubby on this. I actually got this, this uh, trailer about a year ago in the October Mystery Tackle box last year. So cool spring pumpkin color. Next, I have, it's a really cool bait, guys, I'm just going to say it. It's the Tiki Stick uh, Super Soft Pro by Wave, ba by Wave Fishing. This retails for um, $6.99. I got a full pack, that's awesome. Put this on my spinning rod with the hook they gave me, which I'll get to in a second. But uh, if I pop this open, it's basically a rib Senko, guys. You got these small ribs on it. Uh, not too durable, I don't think. You got those small ribs on it, guys. And, uh, this is a really cool color, too. I'm super thrilled with this. It should work really 
well for where I am. It's about five inches. Uh, I'm gonna, I can do a lot of things with this. This is probably the most versatile baby here. Because, you know, you can see. Um, sorry, my dad's taking the air conditioner out of my room. So, it's going to be a little bit of noise in the background. Uh, you can wacky rig it, Texas rig it, weightless rig it, Carolina rig it. Uh, I don't think you can drop shot it. Next to the hooks. Last thing I've got. I haven't done my scratch off yet, so I'll, I'll do that later probably. Got some skinny bear drop shots slash wacky hooks. These are super cool. I've been wanting to get some, uh, some hooks like this for a while, size one. So uh, that's basically the October MTV. Alright guys, so I tried to start recording earlier, um, but there were people here. And uh, I couldn't really record, they were kind of being loud. Uh, and I couldn't really record very well uh, while they were there. But. I'm uh, doing pretty well. It looks like a pretty good spot in my right now. I've, try I I've actually done the MTV Slam here before, I just haven't, ever just haven't posted the video of it. But. My baitcaster seems to be getting pretty obnoxious with me, so, um, yeah, first impressions of the spinnerbait, which is all I've fished so far, are, uh, it's a pretty good spinnerbait, but it's, I feel it's more of a summertime bait than a fall bait. You have to reel it pretty fast, this particular spinnerbait at least, you have to reel it re reasonably fast uh, to get both blades to spin. And my bait caster just keeps getting backlashed mildly. So there's that. This lake is pretty good. There's a couple of docks on it. Oh, I'm on one right now, actually. There's uh, one flat over there. This goes pretty deep. It's probably 15 feet deep, 20 feet deep, something like that. Yeah, it's a pretty good lake, guys. Hopefully, I'll be able to catch something. And I'll get back to you. Alright guys, got the second fish on the uh, the old Senko bait. Yes! First fish of the MTB Slam, guys. Nice largemouth. Alright, let's see if I can grab him without getting my hook, my, my hand speared by the hook. Nice bass, guys, caught on that Senko. Tight bait. Aw. Oh. I just doubled up, guys. Used that skinny bear hook with this uh, Senko bait, and uh, it's pretty cool and stuff. So uh, pop this out. <clears throat> I actually need my pliers to get this out. I, he wasn't going nowhere. <coughs> nope, I'm good. I'm gonna actually bend that hook a little bit. That's, uh, I'm gonna weigh him just out of curiosity. Alright guys, I switched up from the spinner bait. Got LB here. I switched from the spinner bait to the Jeez. That's gotta be bigger than three quarter pounds. But it's, he's almost a pound, guys. 0.85. I suppose I can believe that. Uh, I think my scale's a little off, but still. Alright guys, so it's the first fish of the MPB Slam. Super stoked about that. Uh, I'm probably going to tie the spinner bait on my spinning rod. Um, just so I can fish that um, while I have the jerk bait tied on. But uh, I'm going to actually switch spots. I've hammered the spot pretty hard. I'm going to probably go over there. But, uh, I'll get back to you guys hopefully with more fish. To loop it turned upside down and back right side up, so, it, uh, yeah, tangled up my bait a little bit. But, yeah. Oh, got him! There he is. Oh, guys. Oh, guys, please, please, please. Yes, I got him on the spinnerbait! On the spinnerbait, guys! On the spinnerbait! Yes! This is, gonna be a, this is a solid fish, guys. 
I hope I'm still recording right now. Oh, 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 hey, hey, hey. No need for that, buddy. No need for that. What a phenomenal fish. Barely, he, he crushed that for a Yep, I'm still recording, guys. Check out that fish. My hair's probably all crazy from wearing the GoPro. Let's get an underwater release on this thing. Ooh, hit right at shore. Right, well, not right at shore, but I knew these cattails would be productive, guys, so it's got a really cool underwater release. Oh, it's super windy, guys. Let's go. Awesome. That's a spinner bait out of the way, guys. Oof, I really thought that was gonna be harder. Now I can tie on that popper uh, and see if that'll, see if I can maybe catch something on that. But guys, I'll, uh, I'll get back to you. All right, guys, got one on the live target jerk bait, guys. That's a solid two and a half, three pound fish. Yeah, that is a big fish. First cast, new spot, crushed it. guys, that is a solid two and a half pound bass. That's at least two. I'm gonna get a picture, guys, and uh, I'll get back to you. Alright, guys, got the hook out. Got a couple of quick pictures of this fish. Monster, guys. Just a beautiful fish. That's a solid two, two pounds. Not gonna weigh him because he's been out of the water long enough. But man, guys, that was a good fish. He put up a <laughs> if he had been farther out, he would have put up a heck of a fight. I actually thought I was snagged at first. And then he started pulling. That was a really nice fish, guys. So, uh, that's another bait down. Hoping I can get the slam done so I can go back and, uh, catch some more, maybe some bluegill and stuff for fun. So I'll get back to you guys. Alright, guys, so switched up baits now. I'm fishing that, uh, B&M baits. Bullhead jig, can't remember the name of it right now. Got a fish hog, split-tailed chubby grub on there. I'm just gonna be dragging this across the bottom. Really nice guys like it that I, I'm just super stoked about that bait bowl jerk bait fish I think that the popper is gonna be my nemesis today guys uh, because it's you know windy and cold last time when I did the slam here I had a football head jig as well caught my caught a fish on a first cat on my first cast with that Is a little bit stained though, so. That's a fish. There we go, on the jig, guys. This feels like a really nice fish. Oh yeah, dude, he ate that thing. Oh, nice one, guys. Oh, he was, he barely had it. Oh, man. Barely hooked, guys, on the jig. Oh. All right, guys, that's another solid fish. Another two pounds, I'm, I'm gonna weigh this thing. Football guys, just a pig. Mm. It's a really nice one, guys. I'm stoked at this. Probably around two pounds, something around there. One oh wait. One and a half pounds, guys. Somehow I got blood on me. I uh, got myself with a hook. Nice fish, guys. I'd put it up more like almost two, but... Nice fish, guys. And uh, I'll get back to you. Alright, 
right, guys. I caught a fish on the popper. I did it. I did it. You can see. Oh, man. That is sharp. Uh. Right. Oh, my God. Guys, that's a nice, that's a small little bass, but it is a fish nonetheless on the BD popper. <laughs> Caught it right over there. Um, look at that! Look at that! That is amazing, guys. I'm gonna need the pliers to get this out, I think. Oh, maybe not. Oh, <laughs> that is amazing! Alright, guys, so. Fish on the popper hit right at shore. Amazing, guys. Amazing. So I've done the slam. That's it. I've completed it in like three hours. There's people shooting down there, uh, play desks. That's an amazing little fish, guys. And uh, we're going to get back to you. Whew. Oh. Well, guys, that's a slam and uh, some pretty amazing stuff right there, guys. I'm super thrilled. First fish I caught on the uh, stick bait uh, and the skinny, the stick bear, the tiki stick bait and the um, the skinny bear hook. Next fish I caught on the uh, platinum series spinner bait. Then was the live tar live target jerk bait. Then was the what did I catch next? Then the jig, and then this. Didn't think I was going to catch one on this, guys. I got probably four or five blow-ups before I actually caught something on it. Um, before I actually hooked up. It's pretty awesome, guys. And, uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. Those are three things you should do. And, uh, I'll get back to you with more videos. Bye!